Hi friends. So in this session, we will start learning about the operators. Operators in PL SQL. What are the operators? It's a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific mathematical or the logical operation or the manipulation. So there are some type of operators: arithmetic operators, relational operators, comparison operator, and the logical operator. In the arithmetic operators, we have uh, plus, minus. Multiplication, divide, and the exponentiation. In relational operators, we have equal to, greater than, less than, not equal to. Greater less than equal to and greater than equal to. So the relational operators is to compare the two expressions and then give back the result. And the comparison operators are used to compare the expressions with one another. So the comparison operators always returns a boolean result. So we know that boolean result are true, false, and only null. So it will only return three values: true, false, or null. The examples of comparison operators are like, between, is null, and in. So the logical operators. The logical operators are and, or, and not. So there are some precedents in the operators. So precedents is like first the exponentiation, then the multiplication and division, then subtraction and addition, then and or. And not. So this is the precedence. Well, right over here. First, we have the exponentiation, then multiplication and division, then addition and the subtraction, then not, and, and then the or. This is the precedence in which which is followed by the PL SQL. The uses of, of this precedence is that when in a single expression. Or I would say, in a single piece of code, there is there are multiple operators, and compilers want to give a result. So there should be some precedence according to which it will manipulate the result and give it back to the user. So for that correct evaluation, the precedence is uh, precedence is there in PL SQL. So we'll write some query. I'll open a new worksheet for all these operators. First, we'll write the arithmetic operator. So, select salary. Uh, in the tables, we have the employee master table. So, we'll use the employee master table. Select salary, comma, salary. Let's say that we are uh, the company is giving bonus to the employees. So, we'll add a uh, thousand rupees to everybody's salary from employee master. Let's see the employee code and employee name also. Order by salary. Let's see. Who is getting the more salary? So this is according to the salary. Uh, so employee one will get rupees uh, get rupees thousand, and after bonus it will get two thousand. 
so in every record you can see that thousand rupees thousand rupees is get is getting added so every operator we can use over here and uh, now coming to the relational operator i'll use the same query for the relational operator also so select salary from the employee master where salary is greater than 4000 so now you can see here that nine roles are there in this employee master and when we'll write uh, greater than 4000 then only the records which are more than 4000 will show us so uh, let's execute this query okay so it will give you now five results only the results which will which are having the salary greater than uh, 4000 is showing here so uh, we'll write over here greater than equal to in this case it will show you the result which are greater than and equal to 4000 so you will see over here that above there are five records and now there are six records selected so the 4000 row is also included in the below query okay so we can overwrite over here less than and the other operators also not equal to so this is according to your wish and your uh, code demand that what uh, uh, operator you want to write so coming to the next uh, the comparison operator we'll write we'll use the like so select where m code is like is very important in the queries so is like equal to percent one percent so let me execute and then we'll explain you that how the like works so now you can see i have written that uh, in the where condition i have changed that employee code should be like percent one percent so it will give you the result where the employee code contains one so every employee code which has the uh, number one would be here so you can see there are three results m1 employee number 10 and employee number 11 so any record which has the number one will be shown here we'll see the with two so now you can see there is only one record with the number two so there is only one record you can see here in the above you can see there are three records so the like is used for uh, when you'll write that percent two percent so it will iterate all the uh, all the uh, records from the starting and then after ending also so the number two could be present anywhere in this employee code I hope you are getting my point. The number two is present anywhere in this employee code. If I'll not write here percent two, so it it wants to see two as a first character. So it will not give you any of the result now. No rows selected. Okay, so this is about the like. Now coming to between we'll use this salary example for the between also so salary between 4000 and 7000 So now you can see every record that is greater than or equal to 4000 and less than 7000 is here 4, 5, 6 and 7. 
okay so now going towards moving towards uh, we'll use and and uh, logical operators which are and or and not so we'll write that select i'm like selecting the same thing where salary is between 4000 and 7000 and m code equal to number 4004 or m code equal to number 6 so now it will return you two records Four thousand and six thousand. So it is satisfying this all the request, uh, all the conditions. So the employee six has the salary greater than uh, is between four thousand and six thousand. If I'll write employee one, then it will not return the employee code one because his salary is not between four thousand and seven thousand. So you can see that the salary is between 1000 and the, it will show you 1000 and the 4000. Or we'll check any of the condition between this would be, uh, would be the output. So or we'll check either the record 004 or 001 so it will show to the result i hope you are we are clear with all the operators we have done arithmetic operator example relational operator example comparison operator and the logical one so in the next chapter we will study the conditional iterations thanks